Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech and in today's video I'm going to be talking about brand new Samsung updates. So Samsung seems to be on fire. They're releasing update after update after update for the Samsung Galaxy S20 and the Note 20 for One UI 3.0 public beta. So just yesterday we had a successful update that was public beta number 5. We already talked about that in my previous video. Now today we have a brand new update. If I tap over here, November the 19th, I have the sixth beta update with the latest security patch is 233.93 megabytes. And of course, as usual, we are getting even more device stability improvements, new and or enhanced features, and of course, further improvements to performance. With every single update they're releasing, I'm noticing a healthy boost to the overall stability this phone at this point feels like it's ready for a public release. But anyway, I'm going to tap on install now. I'm going to be right back with you guys and see what is actually new with this update beta number six for Galaxy S20 series. All right, so the update is now complete. Let's just click OK. All right, I'm going to go into my Samsung members. It says your phone has been updated. So I'm going to go into my members over here. Let's see members application go right inside we are going to go to the notice board on the top and then we are going to see a server error so let's try again one more time let me go into members that might be actually a problem with samsung members service right now so we'll, we'll try that one more time so we're here tap on this one we're getting the same error normally this is the error you come and you click on the top link to get the full details of what happened with the latest public beta update. Now you might see it, but I'm getting a quick error here. But let's go back out over here. Let's swipe around. Okay, feels so much better than that first beta. The first beta certainly was choppy. This one is much more smooth. Like I said, feels like a real smartphone. Now here's the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This one actually has the December 1st security patch. Now this one does not. It's not a big deal, doesn't mean anything. This has happened before. This might even be a small error here because December is not here. So how can you get the December security patch? So again, that's not a huge deal, not a big deal. But we do know that the Samsung One UI 3.0 is in fact coming very soon, either sometime in December or January. And you do know that the January is also going to be the release of the Samsung Galaxy S21 which is going to be released with One UI 3.1. So you can be sure that these flagships here, the S20 and the Note 20, are going to have at least One UI 3.0 by mid-January. Now let me go back over here to Members Application, try this thing one more time. All right, let's go over here. All right, let's tap on this thing here again. Still got that server, so we're not going to be able to get any details, but honestly, it's probably just a bunch of bug fixes and nothing more. Rest assured, the phone is working like a champion, as you can see, that's fast and quick. Now, one problem that I've been having with One UI 3.0, every time I update my phone and go back into my lock screen, okay, the wallpaper that I've set doesn't actually work. All I see is a black screen. I would then have to go back into my wallpaper here and then readjust the wallpaper. This is the one that's supposed to be there, but it's not showing up. So just something to keep in mind. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns? Drop them down below, let me know. For now guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.